Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com and youtube.com slash DWYER70905. And if you don't know by now, uh, we have a really good ongoing boxing discussion <clears throat> with some very hardcore analytical fight fans and gamblers on my YouTube channel page. It's free. I uh, have a fun time just reading the comments of um, the folks who are there, and I think you will too. I invite anyone who finds this video fun to uh, stop by my YouTube channel page. Again, it's youtube.com slash DWYER70905. <clears throat> I'm nursing a little bit of a sore throat. I uh, hope you bear with me. This video is a post-fight video on a fight that happened this last weekend between Miguel Cotto and a victorious Manny Pacquiao. Now, um, I think boxing has a lot of storylines. This fight fascinated me. In particular, there is folklore that has uh, erupted over uh, Miguel Cotto's strategy. Many people feel <clears throat> that Cotto uh, won the first round convincingly. I'm one of them. And uh, many people also feel that Cotto got away from what was working and uh, allowed Manny Pacquiao back into the fight, so much so that Pacquiao was able to drop Cotto in the third round, drop him again, I believe, uh, the next round, and then dominate the fight going forward. Let's talk about that first round, because I think that first round is deeper than most. Um, first, let me point out a couple of things. Uh, Cotto is an excellent fighter. He is a world-class fighter. I believe that styles make fights. I believe every boxer in the sport can be beaten. That includes Floyd Mayweather. That includes Manny Pacquiao. And as we know, that also includes Cotto. Keep track of Cotto's career. Keep in mind, Cotto beat Zab Judah. Cotto beat Shane Mosley. Cotto, in his last fight, um, got the decision against Joshua Clotty. I thought Clotty won that fight, but I can see that Cotto had his moments in that fight. In other words, Cotto right now is um, in the upper echelon of his division. I do not believe, and I know I was critical of Cotto in my book, but I do not believe that Cotto is finished as a fighter. Now let's talk through that first round. I have two videos up on the fight. They were pre-fight videos where I predicted Manny Pacquiao would win the fight. I think you saw why in the first round. <clears throat> now, the problem with Cotto is he's a southpaw operating out of an orthodox stance. And what that means is that his left hand, his strong hand, his knockout hand is the same hand he uses for jabbing. So Cotto would be most vulnerable if that hand is extended and the guy countering him knew that Cotto couldn't cock the hand back to throw it again. In other words, Cotto is most vulnerable right after he throws his left jab. Right, because the strong hand is out in front of him, and somebody like Manny Pacquiao can then jump in at an angle and have Cotto naked. Right, that first round where Cotto looked great <clears throat> was that round real, or was that round a setup? In other words, if Cotto is most vulnerable, if you buy the argument that he's most vulnerable when he has his power hand extended, right, and someone's able to slip that hand, wouldn't Manny Pacquiao in the first round of this fight want to convince Cotto that he could effectively throw that left jab? Because quite frankly, style-wise, and I made a similar argument in my post-fight video for the David Hay value at fight. <clears throat> when you have an excellent left hook, and make no mistake, Cotto's left hook, especially when he throws it to the body, is one of the sport's best punches. 
when you have an excellent left hook and you're fighting a very quick-handed, blisteringly quick-handed combination puncher like Manny Pacquiao, shouldn't you have that left cocked at all times so when Manny Pacquiao comes in, you can throw the left hook? In other words, you don't want to be wasting your power hand on jabs. You want to be hitting the guy with a left hook when he comes in so you're hurting the guy not danger of the guy you want to hurt the guy I believe what happened in that first round and the fight should be on HBO this weekend so I encourage everyone here to double check it but I believe what happened in that first round is that the blisteringly quick Manny Pacquiao decided to stand right in front of Miguel Cotto and to convince Cotto that he could be effective throwing his left jab. Because once Cotto started the pattern of throwing the left jab, this fight was over. Let me also make another point. Uh, TV doesn't do Manny Pacquiao justice. Just like a computer screen, you're looking at a two-dimensional picture. A better camera angle would actually be, and I would encourage HBO and Showtime to use this, would be an overhead camera because with an overhead camera you would actually get to see how Manny Pacquiao is moving around the ring and then coming in on strikes from different angles to throw multiple combinations. Pacquiao is not just quick-handed and quick-footed. Pacquiao is also very quick-witted, quick-minded. He's very smart. He knows what he's doing. I believe there are different times in this fight where Manny Pacquiao got Miguel Cotto to do things like throw his jab so that in later rounds Manny Pacquiao would be able to just dive in when he threw the jab, have it timed so he could then get off multiple punch combinations to hurt Cotto. Let's also think this through. Rather than throw a jab and be exposed, if Cotto is going to throw a lead left hook, Think about it. Wouldn't he want to reduce the space that Manny Pacquiao has to hit? Because the problem with Pacquiao is he's accurate. He can dive in and he can hit you on the chin. So what Cotto would want to do is Cotto would want to have his hook ready. Right? His power left hand. That is his best punch. He would want to turn sideways. Right? To be able to throw the punch. He wouldn't want the punch up here. He wouldn't want to hold his hand up here because he'd have to untangle his hand to throw it. So what he would want to do is he would want to turn sideways. Since Pacquiao is coming in looking for his chin, he would want to tuck his chin behind his shoulder. And rather than have his left hand up here, he would want to have his left hand guarding his body already cocked. So when Manny Pacquiao comes in, Cotto is sideways, literally like this, with his hand cocked, and can then just lean back and throw the left hook. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there is a fighter who routinely tucks his chin behind his shoulder and leads with a strong left hook and guards his body with his left just like I discussed and that fighter I believe has a shot on Manny Pacquiao that fighters name is Floyd Mayweather and uh, I would encourage everyone watching this video to take a look at Mayweather against Marquez Mayweather has developed a style where that left hand is always ready to throw a hook Mayweather doesn't telegraph it. He can hit you in the head with the hook. He can hit you in the body. Look at the beginning of that one Manuel Marquez fight. And what's more important is if a fighter comes inside and is able to time that left hook, Floyd Mayweather is actually right-handed. He can then turn around, turn, get torque on a right hand that's all well, and he can hit you with that straight right. Let me know what you think. Visit us at Gambler's.